Hello and welcome back to another episode of Green Sofa Reviews. And today I'm going to show you how to shine your shoes. Now this pair is already done. Um, I showed you about these in another video where we put the first brand new polish on these brand new shoes. These are the Allen Edmund McKenzie uh, second choice and now I'm going to actually show you what to do on this one. So what we're going to do is you're going to start with the Saphir Renovator. It is a cleaner and conditioner. It's mink oil based and it just it leaves the shoes so soft and so supple and it actually helps clean off anything and gets the surface ready to take in the cream polish and then the wax and I highly rec recommend using Saphir um, I've used other brands this is the best stuff if, if you just don't wanna it's about twenty dollars a bottle if you don't wanna shell out the money for that at least get something you can go to your grocery store and get kiwi for like four or five bucks get something have something on your shoes to keep them protected I know most people have one or two pairs of dress shoes and it's a a nice investment so take care of it you know five bucks now saves you a couple hundred dollars down the road so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to brush it off get off any dust any dirt any any uh, surface imperfections and after we give it a good going over we will then get our cloth you take your fingers put in the cloth wrap it around dip it in and then just start going over it in nice circular motions you want to use moderate pressure and do it in a circular motion it helps really work in that cleaner and conditioner into the leather and you're gonna see on these it's hard to see but on most shoes you'll see them darken and that's just the leather starting to absorb the nutrients from this and once you're done with this you're gonna to wanna to let this sit on there I'd say at least five minutes would be best at least five minutes now I've actually already done two coats previously I actually let one coat sit on overnight since these are brand new and I have no idea how long these shoes were sitting on a shelf I just went ahead and let the uh, renovator just sit on there overnight so that mink oil could really absorb into the leather and nourish it and just give me a good base to work with for many years to come now obviously the more you use the longer it's going to have to sit and after it's sat you'll buff it off just like you would any other wax or, or cream polish and one thing I like to make sure to tell people is to really get in there between the uh, the welt and the leather itself because that's where most of the gunk and the salt and grime and dirt gets trapped in your shoes it's between the welt and the leather so you really want to make sure that it gets nourished and protected because it'll just make your shoe last a lot longer alright now we're gonna let that dry and then we'll buff it off and do the cream polish alright let's buff off the renovator and 
and this is already looking amazing. If you could only have one product, definitely go with the Renovator because it cleans and conditions the leather. There are no pigments in it, so you can use it on any color shoe you want. And it's also got some waxes in it, so you will get, you're not going to get a brilliant shine, but you'll get a nice soft shine to the shoe. So this does a little bit of everything. So I would definitely say, if you're going to have two things to take care of your shoes, one, a good horsehair brush, preferably about eight inches like this one, and the Saphir Renovator. That would take care of everything you would ever need to do. The reason you see me going so hard at it, the reason you see me going so brisk with the brush is that friction from the horsehairs against the leather actually starts to dissolve the wax into the shoe and it's already given it a nice soft shine. So even though we haven't even started with the cream polish or the wax polish, it's already got a little bit of a shine to it. It looks nice smells good. I love the smell of leather and this smells and looks amazing. And this is now a shoe that's just it's gonna last, it's taken care of, it feels soft and supple. So now we can move on to the next step and apply the cream polish. Alright so the cream polish I'm using today is actually a light brown. It's this does have pigment in it and it's a lighter color than the shoe so it doesn't actually, you can see I used it on this one and it it shined it up but it didn't really it didn't really do anything like I was hoping it would. I mean it didn't hurt it but an actual dark brown would definitely work better. I just wanted to try and see what would happen. You know it's, it's fun to experiment. Um, and with any cream polish, it's just it's a little bit of pigment, so it's nothing that's going to permanently change your shoe. And it, you can easily take it off with some Reno Matte from Saphir. Um, and in fact, I will at some point go back over this with the actual dark brown. I've got that coming in the mail. Alright, so we're going to take our cloth, wrap it around our fingers, and then we'll just dab it all over the shoe to make sure we get it evenly dispersed and it doesn't get more in one area than another. And then again, moderate pressure, circular motions all over the shoe. And I, and I like to do two coats of this, so we'll do this first one, let it dry, buff it, and then do a second coat. And that really just provides more nourishment, a little bit of pigment, and it's this also, this has more waxes than, a, than the Renovator, so it's starting to elevate that shine. But uh, unlike the wax polish, this stuff won't crack and leave the, the white like gunky stuff all over your shoes that you'll sometimes see. You 
and that shea butter in this just helps to soften the leather keep it nice and nourished and making sure your shoe looks the best that it can well, I just had something interesting happen I just uh, in the interim between buffing off the the run of a tour and putting this on I had a sofa delivered and the delivery truck outside uh, was smoking the guys almost set the brakes on fire delivering my my new sofa they had to stand outside for a good 20 minutes and hose off the brake so they can limp it back to uh, shops so they can get it fixed but that was had some neighbors driving by giving me funny looks but luckily everybody's okay trucks fine they're fine but that just goes to show the importance of maintenance in all things shoes computers watches cars delivery trucks gotta make sure your stuff is taken care of because it's more expensive to not take care of something than it is to just go ahead and do stuff right the first time just like with these shoes it's more expensive to not buff your shoes and take and take care of them and just let them go to to waste and have to buy new shoes every so often versus taking care of them. These taken care of, gosh, they'll last easily 20 years with a resole. And a resole is only $120. That's not even close to the cost of a new pair of shoes. That's half of what I paid for these. And I paid half of the original cost to begin with. And that's the thing, when you're getting a pair of dress shoes, pick your budget, and then get the best you can for your budget. I had $2, I had $200 to spend right now. And these are the best shoes you can get for $200. New. Now if you go on eBay, you can find some nicer shoes but they're going to be used, they're going to be worn, they've already molded to somebody else's feet and for me a shoe is such a personal thing I would always recommend buying shoes new so they mold to your feet and your feet alone because you'll get the most comfort out of those shoes if you get them new and let them mold and form to your feet That's the first coat done. We'll let that dry for about five minutes and then we'll come back, buff it off, put on the second coat. All right, now we're ready for the next step. We are going to put a coat of the Saphir Medal Dior wax on the shoe. Now this wax is very easy to put on. It has a decent amount of solvents in it. Uh, I I'm not going to be using any of Saphir's mirror gloss wax. That wax has zero solvents and it's used for uh, shining up the toe box, mainly the toe box, a little bit on the heel but mainly the toe box and I'm not going to do that with these shoes. Um, I have another pair of shoes that we'll do that on later and I'll show you how to do that. But we're just going to do one coat of this over the whole shoe and then I'll do a couple of coats on the toe box. Now the reason you only want to do one coat over the whole shoe and no more is that more than one coat of wax over the whole shoe, when you start walking, the shoe bends and as it thins you're going to start cracking that wax and it's going to leave a, a, a bad residue where it cracks and it's just not going to look nice. You know, One good decent coat will protect the shoe give it a good shine without cracking and then the rest you put on the toe box so we'll just take our 
cloth. Wrap it around. And I like to use just a dab of water. The water just kind of helps everything slide and glide on the shoe better. And I do tend to build it up more at the heel of the shoe in the toe box versus anywhere else. And like I said, make sure you get it in between the welt and the leather so you get that protection there. Because for me, I like a shine on the shoe, but the biggest reason I do this is just is to protect my shoes and make sure that they last. And one thing I will say, if you've already got a pair of shoes that you love, great, take care of them, they'll last forever. If you're in the market for some shoes, you don't have any dress shoes, but you're needing to get some, save your money to get a good pair of shoes. In the long run, it's cheaper to save up and buy a nice pair than it is to just go ahead and get a cheap pair of shoes. The cheap shoes, most of them are not resolable. The leather is not of good quality. They're not going to look as nice. They're not going to feel as nice on your feet. A good pair of dress shoes will be very comfortable for long periods of walking. Cheap dress shoes, like you can go to DSW right now, get a decent you can get a okay pair of Oxfords for about 70 bucks. But they're gonna last you if you're very gentle on them, maybe a year. Me, the the pair that I got, I wore those suckers out in about five months. I just don't see spending seventy dollars every five months versus, like I said, about two hundred bucks, and I'll have these shoes for twenty years, you know, barring a resole. And these are much, much more comfortable than those shoes I got for seventy bucks at DSW. I was just, I was in a pinch, needed some shoes, so I got those, and it it was a good learning experience. That's that's how I learned. You just don't do it. You wait, you save up, and you get a nice pair of shoes. If you just, even if, if you just can't, if you just gotta have a pair of shoes, then look for some clearance stuff. You can always go online and you can find some okay Cole Hans. They'll be comfortable uh, and they'll last a lot longer than most store brand shoes. And you can get a lot of those on clearance for right around a hundred bucks or a little under and that would be a much much better thing to do than just getting some El Cheapo off the rack dress shoes just just don't do it Now as you're building up the wax, you should start to see it, it haze up. Once you get a nice haze going, let it dry, and then you come back and you buff it. And the nice thing is, the solvents from this wax will take care of maybe any imperfections you had from the cream polish. Like I had a little bit of residue 
that just because this is a lighter color, there is a little, I could see just a little bit of that cream polish left. The solvents from this wax just melted that right in and, and uh, blended it in and now you can't even tell it's there. And when I shine this up, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Alright, now we're going to let that dry, and then we'll come back, buff it, and we'll do a couple of layers on the toe box. Alright, the wax has had time to dry, so we're going to go ahead and buff it. want to make sure you're doing brisk movements. This is where it really counts, because it's the friction from the brush, well, between the horse hair and the leather, that melts that wax and gets it to form that beautiful brilliant shine that we're looking for Alright, now we're ready to do the second coat. So we go ahead and put that on. And the second coat only goes on the toe box. So you can see, because I've already worn it, I, I can tell where the creases are. So I'm very carefully going right behind those creases. So the toe box will get a good amount of shine to it. And it's, if you have cap toes, it makes it super easy. You just wax the cap toe. These are not. I'm going by the creases from where I walked, and I'm also going by the broguing medallion on here, just behind that. Yeah, you can, there you go, now you can see it. And when you feel your rag start to drag, go ahead and wet it again, 
just a little bit. I mean, you just want the littlest amount. Just want to make sure you get a, a very good coat, a little bit of hazing. You don't want to put it on too thick. That's one of the areas I have a hard time with is not getting it on too thick. So you're actually better off with just a little tiny bit versus a lot. That'll make it a lot easier to get a good shine in the end. So now we're going to let that dry on the toe box and then we'll buff that. I'm going to do a couple of coats of that and then we'll see how it looks. And here they are. The freshly polished Alan Edmund McKenzie's. Just a beautiful shine. They have polished up a treat. I'm going to straight lace them and then show you how they look all done up. And there you have it freshly polished dress shoes. Several coats of wax on the toe boxes to really set off that shine. And then a Parisian double knot to really just elevate the look of the shoe. And again, we used the Renovator to start with. I did three coats of that because these were brand new shoes that I have no idea how long, how long they were sitting on a shelf. So I wanted to make sure that leather was nourished so it would be soft and supple and ready to soak up the cream polish that added a little bit of pigment added some shea butter to further nourish it as well as the waxes that really start to build up that shine and then we finished it off with the Medal Dior wax polish and that is what really set off the shine on the toe boxes uh, we used a horsehair brush to clean it and buff the waxes and then we used our chamois and some water to get the toe boxes really just looking good. Uh, little tip, when you go to actually do the uh, the final coats of wax on the toe boxes, if you can, use ice water. Uh, ice water just helps get the uh, glossage to really start to form on those toe boxes. Uh, the ice water just really hardens that wax and gets that brilliant shine on there but thank you for watching um, I hope you learned something if you have any questions leave me a comment if you have some tips that could um, help me and other viewers out please leave them in the comments below um, and just again thank you for joining me this was a fun experience and I hope you learned something take care